What's up, y'all? Came on here to update y'all about, you know, what's been going on with me. Uh, well, first, let me start by saying I'm still with Martin. Uh, still enjoy working for Martin. Um, they keep me moving, of course. Shout out to all the drivers who, you know, have joined Martin. Y'all almost feeling them bumps y'all head. Crazy shit. Anyway. Um, I'm still with Martin. Like I say, uh, a new update. I'm moving to Miami in March. I'm going to be still driving for Martin. Uh, running my same route, same driver manager. You know, same every... Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the same truck because I may take a few days off, get things squared away. And, you know, uh, get my, you know, address changed over the license. Uh, a new license. New plate, new tag from a car, all that type of stuff. So yeah, I'm excited about that, man. I'm wanna move down there, enjoy myself. I'm thinking about leasing a truck, but from a dealership this time. But I wanna make sure I do it the correct way. Only problem is, is Martin. Martin pays a dollar a mile, so that's yeah, that's uh, you really can't be too successful with a dollar a mile. So, uh, but I I I worry about that in the future when I actually. You know, when I'm ready to make that move, when I got enough money saved, um, a driver recommended to me, uh, a veteran driver, he said, uh, you should have at least, you know, it's, you know, you can have your own number, but he told me he recommend having $30,000 saved before you go get a truck. Uh, some people do 15, some people do 20, some people do 30, it just depends on your situation. So there's no set number. Uh, you just want to have more than enough. How about that? Um, you don't want to go out there slipping because if you, you know, you have barely enough by the time you, uh, some place will require you to put $6,000 down. And if you only got 10, um, if they find anything wrong with that truck, then shoot, you're screwed before you even start. So I'm thinking about leasing again, but I want to, uh, you know, take my time, plan it out, you know, stay company driver and save up until I'm ready. But yeah, man, I'm moving to Miami. Like I said, I'm excited about it. I'm gonna take a, a little time to enjoy Miami. You know, ride around the city, see what I can get into. Have some fun and then, you know, get back in the truck, make some more money, save, keep saving, and keep going, you know. I think 2020, well, I know 2020 is gonna be a great year for me, man. I just, I just feel it. Like, it's been, I've been feeling good since 2020. It's the end of 2019 the, to the, to now. Like I've been feeling good, I've been feeling new, feeling fresh. So, man, I think it's going to be a great year, man, financially, spiritually, everything. I'm just looking to keep growing, keep saving, you know, uh, get my health. My health is not bad, but I want to become more healthy. I want to drink more water, uh, do more exercise when the cold uh, weather leaves. Continue saving, start investing in, like I said in the previous video, Start investing in something that's uh, something that interests me, that share my same values, um, you know, and just uh, you know, have great health and earn more wealth. So man, yeah, that's that's pretty much update. Like I said, I still enjoy working for Martin. I'm moving to Miami from Atlanta, and I'm 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 about to do it big in 2020, man. Everything is about a legacy, you know. You know, what you want your legacy to be when it's all said and done, you know. I started my trucking career in 2015 with just uh, hopes of, man, I want to just make, uh, at the time, $5,000 or $10,000. And as I continued to do it, I was like, it grew on me. I started to enjoy it. And now I'm ready. It's been four years now. I feel like... Um, it's time to go to the next level with everything, man. And um, also, you know, have a balanced life, you know. Make money, but at the same time, get out of the truck and live life. And enjoy yourself, because, you know, what good is it if you make all the money in the world, but you lose time? You know, you just made a lot of money, but you ain't, you don't have no memory. So, I'm trying to have a balanced life, you know. Be a professional truck driver. Uh, save my money work hard at the same time get out of the truck and you know enjoy myself so 
just a little update, man. Um, nothing else been going on other than that. Running the road, burning rubber. You know, getting the miles. You know, running Florida and Georgia, Florida and Georgia. I, I love it and I enjoy it. I love to see Florida and you know Georgia's home for me. So my favorite state mixed with home. You can't beat that for me. So I'm, I'm happy. So uh, y'all put in the comments what's been going on with y'all. Update me on y'all's success or what's been going on, and let me know how y'all been. Cause uh. This is my channel, but at the same time, we share, like, conversation, make it a great channel. So, as I have a conversation down there in the comments, I see a few people, they get down there and try to be negative. They try to be negative in the comment, but I thump them, thump them in the head and get them on out of there. I don't block nobody, I just, because uh, you got to take the, the bad with the good. You know, they don't be too, they don't be disrespectful. They just, you know, got an opinion that, I don't agree with, but that don't mean you block people just because you disagree with their opinion. Uh, at least if they don't say nothing too crazy. I don't believe in that. So everybody's opinion is welcome. You know, not everybody's right. I'm not right all the time. They're not right. So, you know, I welcome it all. And I appreciate everybody in the comments. I see you. I try to respond to as many people as I can. Um, I appreciate everybody who's subscribing. I see you. And I appreciate you. Y'all be safe out there. Oh, did I tell y'all moving to Miami? Hell yeah, y'all. I'm excited. Goodbye.